What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one today. I'm out here riding on the InMotion V12 high torque, and I really enjoyed this wheel. Um, when I first got this thing, as y'all know, I, if y'all haven't seen the video, when I crashed it, I first got it, kind of had some negative reviews on, on remarks on the wheel, just because I literally got it out of the box, put 40 PSI in the tire, and I went out, I was like riding full speed off road, and I hit a, a little bump. And what happened is, whenever I was riding with too high of tire pressure, it was like every bump was really making the wheel kind of jump up in the air. And when it would jump up in the air, it would it would hit the maximum speed. And um, that one time right there, I, I was really, really going full scent. And it would jumped up in the air because of that too high of tire pressure. And um, it ended up hitting maximum speed and cut off on me. And... It was completely my fault, um, honestly. And one thing you need to definitely check on with uh, any wheel out there is make sure your tire pressure is right, guys. Um, if you have too high of tire pressure, it's gonna it's gonna ride weird, and you're gonna get the effect of like if you're going high speed off road, it's really gonna be jumping up in the air off of every single rock you hit, every little um, anomaly in the trail, whatever it may be. It's just gonna always keep bucking up in the air. So you really got to find that sweet spot of tire pressure. I run about 25 PSI in it now, and that's been completely comfortable, and I love that. And for my weight at about 135 to 140, independent given day, um, it's perfect. So it's just 25 PSI is what I like. Um, for the typical rider out there that's, uh, you know, about 200 pounds or about, I'd say like 170 to 200 I'd run maybe like 32 PSI and um, keep it right there in that window like 35 to 30 um, PSI uh, for the typical uh, weighted rider I think would be a sweet spot honestly for, for this wheel and, and most other wheels on pretty much most other wheels. If you have a suspension wheel like the Master the S22 uh, you can definitely get away with running the tire pressure a little bit lower just because you have that suspension there um, and your rim is not going to ever get damaged just because you have that suspension there and if you keep a decent tire pressure there you can really jump and hit curbs and hit um, hit rocks and roots and everything like that and it's, um, this suspension is going to do its job keeping your um, rim from being damaged. So just with the non-suspension wheels your tire pressure is really important because that acts as your suspension predominantly I mean your legs you know you're bending your legs and using your knees of course but that little bit of uh, flex in that tire right there is also providing a lot of suspension for your non-suspension wheels you got to keep that in mind but for sure I think this is a great wheel the InMotion V12 like I, the reason I've I've really just been upselling it so much to everybody is because I've loved it man I really have love this thing so much the um the guy from break free tech actually um messaged me the guy you know the the lights that um go in the back of your motorcycle helmet that kind of activated you slow down uh he's interested in it. the ceo is interested in getting one of these um and i i told him you know the v12 high torque really is a, a great bang for your buck um i really think this wheel um it it has everything on it guys it seriously does. It has the acceleration. It's convenient. Um, the, the size is right. It's not way too heavy, guys, to get. Because you got to think, man. Like, these, a lot of these electric unicycles are just extremely heavy, man. Like, I cannot stand having to take the, the veteran Sherman places. Like, having to put it in my truck. And um, there's just nowhere really good for it. I end up having to, like, tie it down to the bed like a motorcycle. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious, guys, with, like, the Sherman... Um, but th with this one, you just literally throw it right in the truck anywhere. It's really small and compact. Um, taking it inside of places and everything, it just works well. And like I said, it's not too heavy, guys. Uh, 1,700 watt hours like this one has. It's about 1,740, I'm, I'm pretty sure, for this one. Um, but that's really a sweet spot because doing most of your commutes, most of your rides, everything like that, you're not going to need more than what the range of this thing has and you and for the guys that like to ride hard and like to, to go all out you can on this wheel you can definitely do that and your range is not going to be affected um tremendously on it you can still go a, a 
pretty damn long way on this thing, guys. Like literally ripping it as hard as you want to, you can go like 40 miles on it, like 40 to 45 miles. And that's literally going as fast as the thing will go. Like I've tried it, and like going uphill as fast as the thing would go in the mountain. You can still get like 40 miles out of it. And and that's, that's good, man, that's a lot. If you're conservative on it, you can get more along the lines of what it advertises. Like if you're just chilling, riding, you know, 20 miles an hour on the thing and not really just accelerating hard, braking hard, and just riding it like, you know, a bat out of hell, you're gonna get a lot more range out of it, guys. Just think, like, and the way these things work, if you're, it's just like a car. If you're not stopping and going, it's like your highway miles per gallon and your city miles per gallon. You know, if you're just cruising on this thing, you know, not at top speed, but you're just cruising and you're not stopping and going a lot, you can get insane amounts of range out of these things. But if you're stopping and going, accelerating, all that stuff, you know, expect like 40 to 45 miles. But if, if you need to get the range out of this thing, you can definitely squeeze more out of it. Like there's one day I rode, I rode probably 65 miles on it. But my last few, I'd say like the last 20, man, I really had to go slow and easy on it. But I rode really hard up until that last threshold, until that last bit where I was like, okay, I really got to go slow now. In order to be able to make it back home so it just it really depends you, you'll figure out exactly how you can ride it for your commute you know to go as fast as you want to and still have as much battery power um, but i think um i think the v12 is, is perfect man i really do and i, I think that this wheel is the v12 high torque especially is going to be one that people are going to be getting for a, a while to come just because of the price point, dude, like, it's such, you get so much for what you pay for with this wheel, as opposed to, like, the V13. Like, of course, like, the V13 is going to be a sick wheel. Like, we all know that's going to be a really cool wheel, but it's just going to be big, it's going to be heavy, and it's going to be expensive, dude. Like, I think it's going to be really, really expensive, and I think that's out of people's price point like that's just way out of people's price point for wanting to get into this hobby or get the machine like to get any electric motorcycle honestly so i just think the in motion v12 is just a popular option it's going to remain a popular option because of the high pr price point of all the wheels coming out i don't think they're going to have a problem selling all the high price point wheels coming out i definitely think that people are going to want them but i still think they're going to be making and selling way more of these just because um, it does it all really it has enough range has enough speed has great bluetooth speakers on it <laughs> i showed a guy the other day man he was all into this thing he's like man it needs some speakers in it and i just all of a sudden just turn on the bluetooth on it and start blaring some music out of it and he lit up ear to ear and was like all right dude i'm sold i'm absolutely sold on this thing and uh it it really does man headlight on it's great you have the ambient lighting on this thing so like for your bike nights and stuff you know how they do all the big group rides like thursday night cruisers or whatever it is in your city um they'll you, you can throw on all the led lights on this thing you got your speakers on it you don't even have to put any aftermarket lights or anything you're ready to go you got a unique machine um, you can turn all off the lights if you want to um you have the soundboard on this thing where you can turn on the sound wave if you want which is it literally sounds like a dirt bike revving up so whenever you accelerate you go and whenever you decelerate you know kind of um the engine noise goes down as you decelerate and that's really good if you don't want to ride with music but you're riding on trails around other people because they can hear you coming and it's a great feature honestly it's, it's great is it annoying as shit um, to have on all the time? Like if you're just the only person riding on it, on it, on a trail, and there's no one around you? Yes. You don't want to hear the thing going all the time because the cool thing about these is that they're silent. But for instance, like if you're on, like if I was in like riding in Santa Monica or something on the bike path where there's like thousands of people going everywhere on the thing, having the soundboard on really helps people know where you're at and also helps them know when you're accelerating because they hear that thing and then they're like okay something is accelerating behind me they don't know exactly what the hell it is 
but they understand that something is behind them accelerating because it's just and it gives them an idea not to step in the path. Otherwise, this thing's just completely silent, and you don't know what somebody's going to do in front of you. So they thought about that, and that's why the soundboard is an option to have on there. So, and all, all you have to do is on the, the, like the top display up there, the interface on this thing works like butter. Like literally, um, I love the screen on the InMotion V12. If you can keep it protected, guys, if you can put like a little ring or something, I still need to make a video showing how to do that. I did that with my V12 high speed. I made a nice protected bumper around the front of it. Um, but the screen works good and the interface is amazing on it, guys. It's so much more convenient than using the app. I hate having to open my phone up and go into the app to change the settings, to mess with the light effects, to turn on you know the sound wave, all that stuff. I love having the screen on top of this. I seriously do. And if it's one of those things that's steering your way of getting this this machine is the screen, don't because um, the screen is really cheap to replace, guys. The screen's like maximum like seventy bucks. Um, I think it's literally like seventy dollars for the screen if you completely KO it and crash and you know um, break your screen. You really have to crash hard um, in order to break that screen. Um, but if you do, it's no big deal at all. It's like an iPhone or whatever. It'll keep working fine. Um, all you gotta do is just message whatever re re retailer you get it from. Like if you get it from E Wheels, the top link below my videos. You just message them and say, hey, dude, took out my screen on my V12. Um, they'll help you figure out how to get a new one. You know? So don't let that steer you away from getting this machine and going with something else. Like seriously, it's, it's not a big deal at all. Um, and I love, I love having the screen on this machine. It makes it look so much more high quality too. You feel like you're getting like a really nice piece of kit, man. When you get this thing in the mail and you take all that plastic off of it and you're looking at this thing, you see that nice touch screen on top of your electric unicycle. Dude, it's like, man, this is the future right here. This is really badass. And like, I'm, I'm not kidding you on that. It's, it's cool as shit. And I think that like, going forward man like having the v13 whenever it, like you get that in your hand dude and they get that fully refined like it's in the early stages the stuff they're showing us with the v13 and the videos and everything like that um you can tell it's in the early stages but you can tell that that is going to be a incredible machine once the little refinements are, are done to it it's going to be perfect and it's like because the V12 from the first V12 I got to the high torque I can tell you guys I like the high torque a lot more um, not just because of all not, not just because of all the refinements and everything not just because of the, like the high torque for climbing and everything like that as well but you can tell they made a little bit of changes on stuff just in that short amount of time like in motion is not one of those companies it tries to use the same components, you know, like for five years in this. Kind of like, like I like the goad wheels. Don't don't get me wrong on that. I've had a ton of the goad wheels, but they've been using the exact same motor hub, the exact same rim on those wheels for like seven years now. Like I'm not even kidding you. And with this one, they saw, okay, people are having a problem with dented rims on, on the first wave of them, and so they made this new upgraded rim on this one immediately after that they didn't try to keep selling the other um you know crap rims but they made the high torque one that people are going to be riding off-road uh, aggressively they put a knobby tire on this thing and made it to where you can hit roots you can really tank over sidewalks and stuff like that and not get a dent in your rim and i really i suggest the high torque not just because it is more high torque um and it's just fun in its nature to ride but i like it just because of the upgrades on it guys all the little upgrades and refinements they made to it over the high speed uh you can tell and i wouldn't steer you wrong on that so all in all in motion v12 high torque is a stellar wheel i love it